Hi all. So I am again here to present this topic that is can level check error occur if we do CHGPL. So th this is a concept to something like uh, whenever you create a PF and then you use that PF in your program then you are able to call that program and you won't get any error. But after that after some time you change your pf either some fields or field length or maybe adding some fields or removing some fields from your pf and then after you will be getting the level check error that is cpf 4131 so why it is happening and what is the resolution of that so the main question here is do that error occur if you do chgpf means if we are not creating a physical file and we are only changing the physical file so then in that case that which is that error occur so i would say yes that error will still occur and that depends upon some parameter or some uh, something uh, which is used in that command for creating or changing a pf it does not matter whether you are creating or changing your pf the parameter which is supplied to that uh, create or change command uh, is basically triggering this level check error so let me show you the demo for that so you can see it's a pf having two fields of length 10a and 1a field 1 and field 2 let me compile this so i just created this pf and this is a program which is using this pf so i just defined this pf as an input primary file so i don't need to read this file and i am displaying the field 1 and field 2 values whatever the data is present in qna 39 pf and then setting the last record indicator to on and then returning from the program so let's compile this now call this program call qna39e so i'm not seeing any output let's some um, let's input some data in this as e and b so you can see the output a and b now for example there is a need sorry there is a need to increase the length of this field to let's say 2 so i have changed that length to 2 so let's see some uh, important things which we consider uh, while checking whether we will be getting this level check error or not so we will first do dspfd on this file qna39 and we will get the record format level identifier from here just copy this and if you do dsp pgm ref for your program qna39a you will see that this file is used qna39 is used here and if you search for your record format level and file you will find that the record level and file is same so basically when you create your pf a record format level and file is assigned to your pf and when you create your program and whatever pfs you have used whatever files you have used in your program the record level identifier for those pfs would get stored to these programs as you can see once i do dsp pgm ref i can see that this program is stored the format level identifier of this file as this one which i already copied and you can see which is matching now for example i have changed this pf so 
let me not creating this because if I create the PF again using option 14 or command create PF, uh, the data will be lost. So I, I, I do not prefer to lose data. I'll use CHGPF in that case, change the PF without closing the data. So let's changing the PF. So here I need to mention the source file from where I want this to be changed. So if I do, I only want to change these other parameters like size and other all things, maximum members or all these things, then I don't need to specify this because in that case I'm not changing the DDS structure of a file or length or data type anything of a file. And now here you can see a level check record format level check parameter. If you take F4 here, you will find a star same star yes star no. So if its value star yes, then it means it means that level check format identifier will be checked while calling that program. So when that program gets called, the first thing which is checked is the level format identifier before opening that file. If that format doesn't match you will get this level check error so if you specify this level check parameter star no then during the opening of that file this uh, format level identifier won't get checked and you file get open but in that case there may be chances that you may get some um, ambiguous data or something like that like, like that or maybe data decimal error or maybe other errors as well so for example, I am putting this parameter star yes to show you this demo. So this has been changed. So it didn't give me that uh, uh, message that the data will be lost because in this case I am increasing the length. So if you are decreasing the length of a file field then you will be getting the message and you will be asked, system will ask you to either take C or I that is cancel or ignore. And proceed with that so here it didn't ask so if I do run query on this file 339 I'll see the data as well just do DSPFT now first I'll see that what I copied earlier is matched with the program yes because I didn't compile recompile the program so if I do DSP FD again and will check for the record format level identifier, I'll find that record format level identifier gets changed. 244-55C47-46 PFD, it is AFC. So you can see that this format level identifier is changed and which is not matching with the program stored uh, format identifier in the program so I didn't recompile the program now I call if I call this program I'll get that error error message cpf 4131 appear during open of file for file this so you'll see that this is a level check error which we basically get this take cancel here this thing so you get this error when you perform CHGPF and kept the level check parameter star yes. Just perform CHGPF again and kept this star no and you didn't recompile the program till now. Just call this. You'll see that you weren't getting the same error but earlier you were getting that error just because of that parameter star yes. So this level check error basically depends on the parameter used level check parameter specified during the create pf or the change pf command. So if you specify that is star no, your level format identifier which is earlier saved in the program won't get checked with the new one and you won't get this error. But this may cause serious damages to your system or your application. So you must recompile your programs always to avoid these types of error and you must set the level check parameter always as star yes because it ensures you that your files and programs are in sync.
so that's what it's all about but let me show you one this other thing as well for specifying as star yes so if you call this again you will be again getting the same error mistake cancel so this time what you need to do is to compile this program again so your program gets compiled just check dsp fd so you will not find this this is changed and if you do dsp pgm ref qna 39a you will find that this is still not matched with this which is changed as well so let's copy from here and check in dsp fd of that file so you can see that the record format level identifier is now in sync from the file so program now stores the latest format level identifier which is uh, generated after the changing of that pf and now after the compilation of that program the latest format identifier gets referred so uh, if even if the level check parameter is high yes you won't get this error so you must the set that parameter is star yes and you must always ensure that all the programs must get compiled recompile which are using that file so whenever you are performing any change to this such files you must uh, keep track of those programs which are using those files that file which you are changing so that you must recompile those programs and you won't get this error so that's what uh, i am to discuss here that is uh, level check error occurs and it depends upon the level check parameter uh, which is specified during the create pf for the chgpf command so that's all in this video thank you and have a nice time